put the wire <coughs> down there now through the grommet. So, next job is going to strip this outer back, um, strip the outer back on the core, <coughs> put a blob of solder on each of the wires just to give it a decent edge to put into the connector, and then um, we'll get this connected into the relay. Get relay plugged in. Um, we connect the power wire to two, two, two. Where is it hiding? Just there. Uh, um, put a speed clip on there because we're going to pull a jumper wire out of there as well to go to a power socket which I'm going to put up in here so that's the job that needs doing <clears throat> but first things first we'll get this done so we can get this in and get it all working and then we'll worry about putting a socket in there later so that's that, let's crack on I know people are going to ask why I go to the bobber of uh, putting solder on here. Two reasons mainly. Firstly, it makes sure that the core wires are all connected together. And secondly, it gives the fastener that holds it into the connector something to actually bite down onto. A third reason you could say is it's going to help prevent and help stop the corrosion possibly around the terminal itself. But like I say, the main reason is make sure all the wires are joined so we've got even distribution of power through the core and to give the clip something to bite into and keep it all together so you don't just pull down on a couple of wire strands and the rest of them are just basically not holding it. And that's it. Simple as. Screw terminals are for connecting the trailer socket wires. That's them. Um, what have we got? Number two is the fog light. The fog light, I believe, is blue. <coughs> blue into number two. Now, are they in a nice order for me? Yep, so blue, as you can see there, is the top one. So I'll find somewhere now to put the camera. Oops, so you can see. Yep, so blue is the fog light, which is going into number... Ow, stab myself number two so I'll push it in let's take a little bit of that just so the insulation covers it as well and I've got my clippers yeah same with all them because they're probably a little bit too long Number two. <laughs> That's it. Uh, what's next? Next is left and right hand tail right. Now it did say here somewhere. When fitting a relay, blah 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 blah, um, dual lamp function if the brake light and tail light or fog light and tail light share a common wire, which they do because this is CAN bus, um, do not connect either the side light wires, black or brown, from the relay to the car. The relay knows that, so we still need to connect them into the trailer side. So, um, <clears throat> left and right hand tail lights, five and seven. So that is black and brown go into five and seven so there we go move that move that black and brown into five and seven oops This is where it can get a little bit messy if you're not careful. Could have soldered the two together perhaps, maybe some people will say.
try a different screwdriver. There's a stupid one. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. There's a little one I wanted. A little blighter. You can just say, look. Fits in there, a charm. Okay, okay. Ugly, ugly. Um, next we have. <laughs> red brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Is number six. So red goes into number six. Which is. Mm, that one I'm guessing. Now why they couldn't have actually put the numbers on top of the actual terminal. If you go into the hassle of printing them onto the casing, why not just print them above where you're going to put them? It makes no sense to me at all. Um, reverse is pink I believe because we are on 8 cable wire so we're going to go pink to make the boys wing pink to make the boys wing you will push down in there make sure it's improper because we do like it improper no half-hearted measures here people my papers are blowing away uh, right hand flash is green I believe Right hand flasher is green. Oh my goodness, there's nowhere for me to have to go. Houston, we have to make that a bit longer. Buggery, buggery. Well, I wasn't chopping all that back just to make that a bit longer anyway. What did I say? Green, green, green is number four. Green in the selection process. So white can go through to there, like a good little boy. Green can come through to there. And maybe go above the black. So green's gonna go for oh, green is gonna go above the black because it's an awfully good chap. Awfully good chap. Jolly good show, old boy. So under the red and brown, but a blue I don't really want it going on there. What are you talking about, Lisa? What are you talking about? Put it above the pink. Pink to make the boy's wing. Oh, that looks lovely, Lisa. Lovely. Push it in, girl. Push it in. Oh, they don't like it happen, Mr. Marin. Whoa, whoa. Falling, falling into the car. Shall they go sitting on the bump, bump, the bumper, the boot lip, the bumper, whatever you want to call it. I don't like it, you know. It's not very comfy. Now. Now, now, now. Now, now, now. Now, now, now. Let go down the out way. Put it out way, please. Put it that way, girl. Get it out of the way. There we go. Easy, easy. Get it in. You know what I didn't bring in my haste? In my haste. My LED trailer sock plugs to test it with my trailer lights. LED trailer lights, I should say. But it's okay, people. I have my trailer. I have confidence that my trailer works. Might be misplaced. But I do have confidence. So what we're going to do, we're going to connect that big white cable to a black cable, which is going to be our earth here somewhere. Even on the car, all the earth's are brown. Very stupid. Brown should be a hot wire, because we're American. We like it hot, not live. Hot. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of... Ooh, rocking the camera. Rocking the camera. Whoops. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Whoops, there goes snack on. Got a lot of snack on stuff. Very expensive. Very good. But very expensive. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, in here somewhere. In here. In here, people. We have a mass, a mass of messy wires. Right, okay. In amongst our mass of messy wires, 
we get that and we go I like that jobs are good and you see jobs are good and um, yeah we need to read what the orange does what's the orange do Lise I haven't got a bloody clue. Um, orange is power. Hmm. Orange is a power. Okay, okay, so we power that up. Then we power that up. I'm getting concerned now. I'm getting concerned. What is pink? What is pink? Because grey was reverse. I'm sure it was reverse. Oh, it tells me here, boys. It tells me here. It's a different bloody colour. So yellow is left, blue is fog, green is right, brown is right, red is stop, blah, 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 orange, white. So white needs to go to white. White needs to go to earth. needs to go to earth. What the bloody hell was black for? Left hand tail. So we're not using black and we're not using pink because they're the tail light indicator. They're for the tail lights, but we don't need them because we're using the brake light to signal the tail light. And I'm talking like in empty. So yeah, um, pink and black are for the brake light to sig are for the tail light if you don't have a signal wire from the brake light. But we have a signal wire from the brake light, so for now, rather than just cut them off, we're just going to put them. Like this, so we know we're not using them. Out the way. I mean, I'm guessing I could if I wanted to cut the bloody take the pins out. Anyway, I want to make sure it all works first. So that's that. Um, yeah, jobs are good, and they say jobs are good. So we've got white to go to earth. Um, two oranges can be soldered together. Which is fine, we can do that next. We then need a live wire, a red wire to go from there up to here somewhere. And that'll be that, really. So I'm going to cut them and solve them like the others. <laughs> yeah, shut up and just get on with it, Lisa. Several hours later. Oh my god, if I had testicles, I'd say this had been an absolute ball ache. I mean. Bloody German engineering. Anyway, so yeah, got this little. Can't bloody see in there now, can you? Lights going. Lights going. Look at that little candle. Here's a bloody candle too, isn't it? So yeah, made that little bracket to go on there now. So put a stiffener plate in just there, just to take a bit of that out of it. Um, Now, I like to solder as many of my joints as possible, so what I've done is put this other wire on here now, because this is going to be my feed for the 12 volt outlet for the cigarette lighter socket. Um, and I've already soldered these two together, which are the feed for the relay unit. Um, now, to hold them together while I solder, because there's only me, I just twist the two wires together, but when it comes to actually soldering them together, it gets a little bit more difficult because I can't twist them two together, hold the soldering iron and the solder. So what I'd like to do is strip back some cable and then put the two together and tightly wrap the cable around it and then solder the lot together and then put the heat shrink over. So that's what we're going to do next. So there is a nice body earth for me to use, so I will get my black earth wire, put a earth ring on it and bolt it onto there, so it's me making a mess, cleaning, paint off any of these holes, there's oodlums of holes, oodlums to choose from, but there's already an earth there, so I'll utilise that. 
these earth ring things bit of a pain i haven't got the multi spline socket to undo the bolt on here to get this cut back the way but essentially um clip 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 so three clips on it just pull them back and it comes off i've put a bolt in the middle just to make sure the other two wires don't fall out but i think we'll agree apart from brown being the earth and the factory which is wrong on so many levels because it's a hot color um we have our proper earth colors white for the trailer sockets and 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 we have black for the cigarette lighter socket so happy days we are good to go i like the factory look looks good like it it's good like it it's good shut up and get up and get these Right, okay, now for the moment of truth. Haven't tried it yet. Fingers crossed I don't look stupid. Probably will, but anyway, so no lights. To reverse, so don't start the engine. Ignition on. We have reverse lights, and if I lift the boot, it should go out. And it does, shut the boot, and it comes back on. So Next thing to do is just connect this up and see if they work. So, yeah, we we'll knock it out of reverse because we know reverse works. Ooh. And it's cold, like really cold. So, let me just grab that out of there. Good. Hopefully. In. Kind of like that. Put that there so I can see it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna work. So, side lights. Right on it. Brake lights. Uh, should be going right, left, right, left, and fog. Um, maybe they don't have fog on them. I don't think they do. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, it's definitely wired up. It's on the car, but it's only got reflectors in the middle. So these do not have fog lights. Which is a bit pants. Um, I don't need a fog light. I don't need a fog light. I've got tail lights. I've got tail lights. I don't need a fog light. I've got a beacon. I can put a beacon on the roof. Woo! -hoo! Anyway, yeah, all working. Uh, I, I thought I'd do it. I'll show you. I'll show you because people won't believe me that I won't be turning with it when they say it's for a bike rack. People won't believe me. People really won't. I know people don't know. I know people could be the worst. I feel the worst. Don't believe anyone. So, um, yeah, there is like a Dixon Bake style thing that the bike crack fits on. So, never to be used for towing. Obviously. 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 I would never try and tow with it. I would tow with it. I would not tow with it. Obviously.